I've decided not to bother with memory. I don't trust it. Memory is on a vault or a filing cabinet. It's a knotted ball of yarn with strings of all colors stretching out in all directions. You can spend your whole life trying to untangle it, trying to stitch something beautiful together, but I've decided not to try. I think I'm scared that after years of weaving, I'll look down into my lap and my hands will be empty. I've decided not to bother with memory. Memory is not a record. It's an amalgamation of desire. A mess of a sentence whose period is that gut feeling we confuse with who we are. And I don't want to be confused about who I am. What does it feel like to be in the water? Um, normal, I guess. I guess it feels more natural than land in some way. <laughs> now you got it, you got it! <laughs> you don't really have to try. There's no gravity. Tom, what does it feel like to be in the water? <laughs> it feels like a small stream in existence. Aaron, what happened? I got scammed out of a thousand dollars. And how did you get scammed out of a thousand dollars? A stranger asked me to cash his check and I did. And I took out money from my account and I gave it to him in cash. And he gave me twenty dollars. And I thought that I had just helped a fellow Samaritan in life. And um how do you feel about being scammed? Out of a thousand dollars? Well, I mean, I cried a big chunk of today. Haven't really slept. Um, trying to, you know, hustle, find new ways to support myself. big stress ball because it's a, an inherently broken system but it just it does feel a little bit like hopeful you know 
like this might be over. When I'm old, I want to be a lady that has a shopping cart. I've decided not to bother with memory. Memory is not a heroic act. It's a passive impulse, something that happens to you. And if you want your life to be beautiful, you can't be lazy about it. You have to reach for it. You have to reach around that narrative we endlessly weave for ourselves towards something real, something absolute. Not sacred necessarily, but beyond judgment at least. I want to just lay it all down to say, this is who we were that day. This is how the sky crashed and how the spider laid her web. This is how we played in the water and walked through the forest. How we sped down the highway and watched snails crawl. My God, it was all so beautiful. <laughs>